Well, this is it, Diane. Leaving on our winter trip. Yep. Say goodbye to the house for the next six months. Goodbye, house. <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye to snow for the next six months. Well, that we never know. We may hit a little. Okay, that's true. A little is better than a lot. Yeah. So yeah. We can't say we won't hit any because last winter we did. That's true. So, that is true. But we're headed towards the southwest again. Hopefully get to the west coast this year. Yep. Some different places than we've been to last year. Some of the couple the same, but mostly will be different. Right. Yeah. Well, let's, let's get going. Go, let's get going. <laughs> Yeah, well, we have a little issue with our Wi-Fi our, uh, wi booster antenna. It seems to have come apart. So, have to go up there and take it off and then figure out what we're gonna do from there. So what happened here is the bracket broke. The bracket broke. Not the end of the world, fixable, but not today. All right, so <clears throat> what happened here is this bracket that I made for the antenna it was just a piece of aluminum angle and it was a little up too thin and the leverage from the antenna moving around with the wind broke it right across here. So we have to come up with something different. The other part of the bracket seems to be okay. So we just need to come up with something a little stronger for this. Tuna fish. You're making tuna fish? Well, tuna fish wrap. Uh, lunch. Or food. I don't know. Lunch, dinner, whatever. Instead of stopping, this is more convenient. Are you going to be able to wrap all that up? Well, they do. In Wegman, although their wraps are bigger. Right. I don't know. It's awful strong. I don't know. There's a roll in there. <laughs> Eat it like that. Mm. You want to make yours? I guess. After seeing how your attempt. <laughs> yeah, my attempt. Well, we stopped for a quick bite to eat. Yeah, we decided this trip just to bring our food with us. At least for not every meal. Well, not every meal, but while we're. Some while of the days. Yeah, some of the days we made stuff at home, and it's just much easier to pull into an, a rest area or service area than get off and find some place to eat and then, you know, find some place to park the trailer. Yeah, the biggest thing is trying to maneuver around a lot of places we want to eat, don't have room to park the trailer, so. Right, so <coughs> we just figured this would save time and probably some aggravation, so this is what we did. Yep. All right, let's get going. Okay. Well, we stopped at one of our usual places on our trip that we do for the first night, and this is the... Um, Harris. Who's there? Harris. 
Hoosers? It's Harris Hoosers Casino. Oh, all right. <laughs> say, why did you say Hoosers? <laughs> that's the name of it. Oh. You see it over there on the side. So this is in Anderson, Indiana, and it's just outside of Indianapolis. And it's about, it's an eight hour Google Maps drive to, from our home, but it took us about 10 hours with stops and gas and food and all that stuff. But we had a good night. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So now we're off to our next, we're gonna get into Missouri today, and but we gotta first stop and get some propane. We used up one of our tanks of propane last night, so we want to make sure that's full so we have plenty to keep us warm. Although it is supposed to be 67 and sunny today. Yeah, but the nights are cool and it's yeah. breezy. Right, it is breezy. Yeah. So we should be on the road probably eight hours. Yeah, today. yeah. It's about a five hour, five to six hour drive. Figure a couple hours for fuel and food and whatnot. So it'd be about an eight hour drive. We'll get sure. there about, you know, four o'clock or so. Afternoon, yeah. yeah, won't be too late. I'm ordered. Let's go. Okay. our lunch the Panda Express that we stopped at the dining room was actually closed they only had their drive-thru open and obviously we couldn't take an airstream through the drive-thru but they did offer online ordering so we ordered our lunch on our phone and they brought it out to us and then we brought it back and ate it in the airstream and after that we walked the dogs a little bit and then uh, there was a gas station right next door so we topped off the truck ready for the next couple hundred miles and we're heading west we're heading towards Missouri. Um, the next major city I think we're gonna cross through in a little bit will be St. Louis. And then once we're in Missouri, our campground is near uh, Columbia, Columbia, Missouri. And so we're gonna head that way. We've got roughly 200 miles to go to get there. So we should be there about five o'clock. a little bit of a detour. I-70 was all backed up and at a stop, so we end up driving through, what city is this? St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, St. Louis, so forget that. Um, let's try this again. So we have a little bit of detour. I-70 was all backed up, so we got off and driving through downtown St. Louis and got to embrace a little bit of a detour, I guess. 
Yeah, so we got to see some of the sights. Yeah. Including this giant Ferris wheel. Did yeah, there was a building that had one on the roof of it. Well, not a giant one. No, but it was on the roof. It was 64 West. We have to come back to St. Louis. Well, that's an aquarium. St. Louis Aquarium. Oh. Huh. Neat. Last night we spent the night here at Finger Lakes Campground in Missouri. It's just outside of Columbia, Missouri. It was about 10 miles off of Interstate 70, so it was a convenient spot to pull off. The camping rate for this campground was $19 for off-season. And I didn't quite know what off-season meant except the fact that it's after November. But it turns out off-season for this campground means they shut the water off. So the water's off, the restrooms are closed which is unfortunate because we really could have used the water today um, as we have a clogged toilet. Um, so we're gonna have to stop at a Walmart or someplace and pick up a plunger and see if we can get it unclogged. So one of the downsides to an RV is if you're using your water pump a lot to supply your water, you tend not to use as much water flushing the toilet and the solids tend to get clogged up because it's not flowing out into the tank. So we've gotta fix that today. Um, we'll find a Walmart or someplace, get a water a plunger. Hopefully our next campground will have water. We'll get that thing flowing and working correctly and then dump the tanks and we should be good to go. The other problem we had today is that the truck had a dead battery. And you can hear it running now. We bought a portable jump pack before we left because we had a couple incidences at home where the truck in the morning would have a dead battery when it's from setting. I'm not sure what's causing it. It's obviously something that I added into the truck, so it's either the rear view monitor for the um, camera on the trailer or it's the um, dash cam monitor that I've had but I've had that on there for quite a while and I haven't had a problem with that before the other thing it might be is I had the truck plugged into the trailer all night and I'm not sure if that caused an issue or not but I've done that before and it shouldn't have been an issue because I just learned it last night when we parked at the other uh, casino it, we didn't have a problem with that so I'm not quite sure what that's what's causing this, but we'll figure it out. In the meantime, we are off today and we are heading, continue our trip west. We're going to get into Kansas and we're going to spend our night in Kansas and we'll let you know where that is when we get there. So we've got about 350 miles to drive today, so we got a full day's driving and we're going to have to get going. So we'll see if there's anything interesting along the way. If there is, we'll show you. Otherwise, it'll just pretty much be a driving day. A peace of mind, relief from the trying I had burned a bridge, wrecked in a ditch Had to ask forgiveness Dead ends come and go Look toward the horizon Oh, there are stories to tell the times we grew and the times we fell Well, today is not ending out any better than it started. <laughs> we did arrive at 
Cheney State Campground near Wichita, Kansas. The day started off with a dead battery in the truck. Fortunately, before we left, Randy got, um, what is it? It's a jump pack. It's like a battery, a portable battery that you can jump your vehicle with. So I picked up at Harbor Freight. Right. So that was one problem that was solved. And then when we got to Cheney State Park, we decided to look for a campsite. Well, we got, kind of got lost in the park. We haven't been here before. And, it's, and the park is essentially winter closed. So it's like, you know, self-service. And we went in the wrong section and it was just dry camping. And we, were, we thought, we went and looked and found that there was electricity. And so we went to try to find that section and we took a wrong turn. And then backing up to kind of get back on the main road, the trailer kind of jackknifed to the, off the road a little bit and hit a pole. And this was one thing that everybody should learn. You should never, ever back your RV up without somebody spotting you. Yes. And this is the result. The Airstream's now been kind of cut open like a can opener. It's got damage here. There's a big dent here. The taillight's broken. Bumpers bashed in, the compartments broke. If there's any good news to all of this, it didn't affect any of the windows. The pole was low enough it missed the windows, thankfully, and we didn't hit it hard enough to damage the window. There is, this is pushed into the inside. There's a slight dent on the inside, interior panel. But I guess it's not gonna stop us from going. Um, right. We're gonna have to put some duct tape on here to make keep water out and everything but yeah if the window had been damaged that would have brought an abrupt end to our trip yeah and we would have been headed back home yeah so now it's time to call the insurance company tomorrow report it I've, you know take some pictures for them probably call the airstream factory make an appointment for the spring and we're drop it off there um we didn't well, have not on our way home because we no. got too much stuff in it. <laughs> I was going to say, not on our way home. We'll have to drive it back to Jackson Center. Yeah. So but we're going to take it back to Jackson Center and, uh, you know, get it fixed this in the spring. Hopefully it won't take too long. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All hopefully. right. So hopefully the Hope rest of our vacation. Our, our trip, not uh, vacation. Well, our trip. Yeah. Will be less disastrous. Yeah, hopefully we got the bad stuff out of the way and we can move on from there. Right. But we'll keep you abreast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're, if it happens, you'll know about it. Right. All right.